Good afternoon. It was pretty cool throughout the morning because of the marine layer, but it does look like the marine layer is now pulling back to the coast and really starting to burn off now. So we'll start to see the temperatures warm up a bit more out there, but still looks a bit gray from our Embassy Suites camera at the moment. We do have decent clearing in the Santa Cruz area though, at least better than we had yesterday. So Santa Cruz is running about four degrees warmer than they were at this time yesterday. Interestingly, much cooler in places like Gilroy and Hollister. Again, that's just because the marine layer deepened overnight and whenever that happens, it sticks around longer. So then that just limits the amount of time that you're getting the sunlight through and warming up. Now looking at the winds, it's moderate out there, five to 10 miles per hour. We do still have that slight southwesterly component, which is going to keep areas from Santa Cruz down to Moss Landing a little bit cooler than they otherwise would be this time of the year. Looking at the overall forecast, mostly sunny though for the mountains and valleys, and then some of those clouds just lingering over our coastal communities and some of our beaches. But looking at the departures from normal, we're fairly close to normal. Interestingly, some places actually below average for this time of the year, like Ben Lomond, Carmel Valley, Soledad. Quite a change from, what was it, three days ago, we were about five to 10 degrees above average. We had some mid 90s out there. Today, we'll just see some mid 80s at the warmest. And then it looks like there is a slight warm up Friday, Saturday. It's so slight though, you might not even be able to feel it. And then we come back down again towards even below average temperatures for Sunday and Monday. So something to think about for your Labor Day forecast. We'll take a closer look at that in just one moment. First, I wanna take the wide view of what's going on across California. Central Valley does have some mid to high 90s out there. Lake Tahoe 83 throughout the day today. The ridge is still over the west. That's why there is still some heat in the inland places we we're just looking at. But it does look like there's a low that's going to be filling in to kind of the California coast on Sunday. And that's where that little drop in temperatures comes from for Sunday and Monday. So Labor Day forecast, this one's for the coast. Saturday looks like 64 to 77. Sunday, a little bit cooler than that. And then Monday, we're actually going to start the next warming trend that should continue through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And I'm actually keeping a close eye on that warming trend next week because it should be accompanied by more northerly winds which can push in drier air and increase fire danger, often more so for Northern California, but something we'll be watching on the Central Coast as well. So forecast highs, it looks like 75 for Felton, about 20 degrees cooler than we were not too long ago. 73 for Aromas, and then down the Salinas Valley, we go from a 68 up to an 84. Monterey Peninsula should be staying in the 60s today just because we still have some of that marine layer going on out there. Eight day forecast, it should be a nice weekend. Whether you're on the coast or the inland areas, it looks moderate, no weather alerts to worry about, and we'll have more after the break.